engine we have removed already the alternator, the power steering belt and to make access easier we've removed the uh, power steering belt tensioner. engine has been rotated to the correct point, you can see the timing marks match. First thing we need to do is remove the cam belt cover, five bolts and one retainer down the bottom. You'll notice that this bolt over here is longer than the rest. And finally, this bolt does not need to be removed. It just needs to be loosened enough to allow the cam belt cover to be pulled out past it. Our next step is to remove the crankshaft pulley. As you know, this bolt is extremely tight. Various methods have been discussed on how to lock the engine up before removing this bolt. In this case I have the flywheel locked with a tool and using a 22mm socket I have this we can remove the pulley. The next step is to remove the lower cover. Three bolts hold this in place. Last bolt is in a very awkward location. It's normally hidden by the power steering belt tensioner. That's why I've removed it to gain access easily to it. Now the cover can be removed. Here we can see the cam belt drive gear. There are two dots marked in white. They line up with a rib on the oil pump body, showing that the timing is in the correct position. Our next step is to lock the camshafts, release the tensioner, and finally remove the belt. The timing marks, as you can see, are correct. We use a camshaft locking tool like such insert it in between the two pulleys then we can release the tensioner. On this particular engine later type we have the automatic tensioner fitted. We release the centre bolt using an allen key we turn the tensioner clockwise to release the tension. This allows us to remove the belt. A good job like this, I think it's always worthwhile and advisable to replace the tensioner. To remove the tensioner, we simply unscrew the centre bolt and remove the tensioner from the engine block. To refit the belt, personally I find it's easier to do it, leaving the tensioner removed for the moment. Most important part is ensuring that the belt is fitted correctly. There are no teeth misaligned. To start, we fit it on the lower pulley first. We need to ensure that this run is kept taut. Fit it round the exhaust cam, making sure it's taut. around at the inlet camshaft pulley. As you can see, it's a job that requires lots of hands. Fitting nicely here, nicely here. Correct taut here around the water pump. And then finally, it's easier to bring the tensioner in. There's a wire that needs to hook across this bolt.
then you can bring in the center bolt and tighten it hand tight. Double check that everything is okay, fits perfectly here and around the camshaft pulleys, around the water pump. To tension the belt using the automatic tensioner, we need to check that the wire at the rear will rest on this particular bolt and this silver part at the rear of the tensioner when aligned properly with the white tip that I've put on the marker signifies that the tension is correct. Make sure the center bolt is tight so that it retains its position. Insert the Allen key into the tensioner and rotate it clockwise. You will see the wire rest on the bolt and as I increase the tension the silver piece at the rear drops until it aligns with the center of the notch. We can then tighten up the center bolt making sure that nothing moves. With the tensioner alignment correct, hold the position of the tensioner and we need to torque the center bolt to 25 Newton meters. We can now refit the lower cover and the crankshaft pulley. Our three bolts. The notch in the crankshaft pulley fits over the corresponding lug on the drive gear. This needs to be torqued to 205 Newton meters. Using the torque wrench set to the correct amount, we can now torque the crankshaft pulley bolt. This is extremely tight. There we go. This is the particular tool I've been using to lock this engine up while I've been doing the work on it. Now that the crankshaft pulley bolt is tightened, I can remove this. We need to rotate the engine two revolutions to check that our tensioning is correct. So we remove the camshaft locking tool. 22 millimeter socket on the crankshaft pulley bolt. And revolution. Bring the timing marks back around. Two are lined up. Our camshaft pulleys are correct. Our timing mark is still in the correct position. We can refit the cover. Our long bolt fits over this side. And then the other short bolts.
check that everything is tight. And the last bolt is the one down the end that we didn't need to remove in the first stage. One cam belt changed. <laughs>